Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk. Me, not. No, uh, I'm with Harriet. And uh, where are we? We're at Shrewsbury Prison. Shrewsbury Prison? Have you come you to lock me up? You are, yes. You're going to show me some of the cells. <laughs> We're in, what wing is this? Sea wing? This is Sea wing, yes. We're inside this amazing prison, this Victorian prison. This is where the ladies were. Originally, originally. yes. Where it was the, it's the smallest wing of the prison, this. Shall we take a little stroll and, oh, right, okay. and have a oh, look The cells were la are larger here than they are in A wing. If you want to film. Oh, no, this one. Um, is how exactly how a Victorian prison was. And you can see they've got the crib there oh, yeah. because when they brought their children into prison. Oh, the kids um, could so sit that, in the so crib. So somebody would have a, a baby in here with her. And that would be her slopping out bucket. And they had to slop out because didn't the chap say that um, toilets were not introduced until something like 19... 95. 95? Mm. Up until no now. power, running water or loose. That's amazing. Mm. Gosh. Yes, let's uh, nip into a particular cell. You won't close the door on me, will you? Oh, I'm, I'm actually locked in. I'm locked in, ladies and gentlemen. Quite a scary, quite a scary thought, actually, to be locked in a prison cell. Oh, you're enjoying that, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I thought you might be. But they would have had, um, they Can probably would have had, had bunk beds in there. Bunk beds? Yeah, so two to a cell. Golly. Should we see the main one that we can go up into the, uh, is it A wing? I don't know, this we get up here, do oh, you want right. to go into the hanging bin? Oh yes, this is where the executions were taking place, yes. up this staircase. And it's where the executioner had to stay here the night before. There's his bedroom up here as well. Oh, that's right. And also a bedroom for the person who was going to be executed. So the, the prisoner was taken from whatever cell he was and stayed in one of these cells? Uh, at one specific cell, if you go around to the left. Oh, no, this was the this was the bedroom where the executioner had to stay on site the night before. Oh yes, um, and one of the famous ones was um, Pierpoint. Pierpoint, and that could be him there. Yeah, he's another bald, isn't he? <laughs> he's got more flat eyebrows than yes. you. <laughs> Hello. Oh you yes, look, Albert Pierpoint. Is Albert in Pierpoint. His room. Gosh. A pretty grim room. Yeah. It, it, you know, even as the execution. And there's a list here about for the hanging, about what they weighed and heights so they oh, could yes. get clean. Yes, because he needed to know exactly how much they weighed. <laughs> yes. And how high, so he could work out the drop, so it would kill them. Exactly. Once, once they were. It would kill them cleanly. Cleanly, yes. Ah, oh, it's in here. You go. That's where they spent the night. Oh right. So this is the prisoner's cell, the condemned man's cell, condemned as it's man's called, cell. who stays in here on that funny bed, and through the window, you could see the rope. So here's your cell with the Bible and a chessboard, and you would sleep there the night before, and there. There is the rope ready for you. So he'd be led out of his cell here in the execution room. This is quite macabre, isn't it? And there it is. And your head would go through that loop. And then presumably that guard, uh, the pier point, would pull the lever. My head won't fit through it, luckily. I think I've been saved. Oh, well, I'm going to get out of here before uh, you change your mind. <laughs> it is quite spooky. I think it was only the end of last century. I mean, it's so recent in our history yes. that people were killed like that. Not as though it was hundreds of years ago. 
If you go straight on. Oh, no, this is... I'll get lost now. We're kind of going yeah, in the right it direction. Should, it should be us get through A wig. Oh. This is, looks like offices at the end. No public access, staff only. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. Here we go. And then this is A-wing, the main central wing. Yes, it's on you... four floors. And this is what you so see. This is, where they, this is healthcare, so they came to get the queue up there to get their medication handed out here. This is healthcare, so they'd queue up in the bars behind you to get their medication here. Oh, the prisoners, yeah. The prisoners, They'd yeah. be on various drugs and things yeah, that they needed to have. Yeah, lots of methadone coming off heroin and so on. Yes, oh gosh. And then, just as you see in, in Porridge with Ronnie Barker, you get that amazing shot, don't you? And, and that is, that's, a, to me, a really iconic view of a prison, the different landings yeah. with the nets running. To stop people from you, killing if themselves. If you go up onto the first landing, and if you just, you can imagine the noise, if this was full of two to three prisoners in each cell, somebody kicks off and starts banging the bars, and all the prisoners come out and start doing that and screaming. Yes. Oh, awful. Absolutely horrendous. And if we get to it, you'll see the segregation cell actually on the lower level, actually. Should we go up these stairs? Yeah, why not? But, you know, this, w this was just for men, this wing. Right. Gosh. Well, it's principally men that caused all the crime, I'm guessing. <laughs> More cells. Yeah, it's bashing the noise. Here's a, you know, these are, the cells are pretty much as they were finally left, weren't they? It's not safe to be in this cell. Oh, thanks. <laughs> she said worryingly. Oh, decommission, do not enter. <laughs> yeah, and of course I happened to pick the one cell. <laughs> This is quite a, quite a strange feeling walking along. There you go. I know that's decommissioned as well. They're not safe. Yeah. Oh. That one but is. they're thinking of turning these into um, student accommodation. I mean, they're already rooms, aren't they? They are quite small rooms, though. They are small. But actually, you know, a student with all his stuff modern dies up, they are purpose-built, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, Stanley... When Stanley was a student, his room wasn't much bigger than this. It really no. wasn't. No, my room was a sitting room in my when I was a student. I mean, I think it would be very cool. You might want to get rid of this high thing. Should we nip up the next one? Okay. Because it wouldn't take much to turn this into student accommodation, and I think they'd love it. You could put a lift in there. there oh, what? Oh, right. <laughs> I think it's a good idea, but I think the practicalities of it are not happening. Well, it's much lighter up here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Here we Compared go. Compared to the Georgian, that Georgian cell, this is probably paradise. It's amazing. <laughs> right, I'll we'll walk down to the end then and find a comfortable room for the night. <laughs> Seeing as you're not putting me up, are you? Uh, no. no. <laughs> I thought you were driving back tonight. Oh. And we've got the paranormal team coming in tonight, so you'll be even better. <laughs> Yvette Fielding and her crew. Oh, blimey. <laughs> oh, the officers sat in these cubicles, yes. watching, keeping an eye on everything. This is your safety net, I suppose, isn't it? You've got your panic emergency button here. Yes. Just oh, there. Yes. If you needed to call for help and so on. Yeah. Wow. But even now, I know just maintaining this building and making sure it doesn't go, you know, completely dilapidated is a massive job. It's keeping it as a going concern. Gosh. Well, we don't want to get locked in, do we? No. 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 <laughs> I spend enough time here. With that. Yes.
Yeah, oh yes, segregation cell, that's interesting to see. Particularly nasty one is this one where there's that's the bed. Oh yes, that's right. You Remember, get absolutely yeah. nothing if you are a particularly obnoxious person. This is it. No, no mattress, no covers, nothing. And in the old days, before human rights acts came in, so they could leave somebody there for a long time. But now, I think it's only a few hours. But it's a very, very cold cell. I mean, it's a warm day today outside, yeah. and even here it's quite chilly. So we started doing school trips now, I think, since 